The Saskatchewan Huskies at last have won a national championship. Gosh, it's hard to believe that it was, uh, you know, um, less than a year ago. I was sitting at home on my couch watching the game, which was kind of tough because I spent the entire season sitting on the sideline and getting to call the action. Oh, I watched it at home. I have a friend who has a 10-year-old daughter who's very, very keen on the Huskies. We were actually on our way to Puerto Rico. We were on a golf course in Florida. At my apartment, and I have very, very poor internet connection, and so I was going in and out. And I was with uh, Mike Bischoff, a Husky alum, and uh, we had a golf game scheduled for that day, so we had it on the iPad sitting between us in the car. I found myself um, on board uh, the flight to Fredericton. Towards the end of the game, I got the bright idea to go watch um, the rest of the game downstairs at my fitness center where they would have a uh, stronger internet connection. So we gathered at my place and it was a very tense, I would say for the three of us, it was a very tense couple of hours. While I was going there to see the University of Saskatchewan women's basketball team bring home the national championship. And so it's probably apropos, not only to say where I was, but maybe uh, what I was wearing. So I had the great privilege to be able to um, uh, not only be there in person, but to sport um, a shiny new Husky jacket. So who was I with? Well, I was with my dear colleagues, um, two deans, the Dean of the College of Kinesiology, uh, Carol Rogers, and the Dean of the College of Arts and Science, Peter Bonham-Smith. As the time was ticking off the clock, I started to get a little, little emotional, um, shed a few tears in a uh, gym full of people, so I was a little awkward, um, but it was a nice, a nice way to watch the game. Every game was so thrilling, like it wasn't like there was one easy game and one hard game, like every game was so intense. The impact, that first win, nothing can replace the first win. The first win's always the sweetest and there were high expectations for the team and, they, and you know what, they lived up to every single one of them. I mentioned before that it brought tears to my eyes. Never have been one to be a happy crier. Didn't really understand the concept of the happy cry until until that moment. It was a great group of people too. To be able to see the, all the hard work, the leadership. And I thought, you know, this just didn't happen overnight. There's, there was there was a history of building up to this moment. And there were players that played, you know, before who were on teams uh, that came so, so close and didn't quite, and, and all those things just build on each other. And so I just thought this was like a, a climax of, of things that have been building for a good long time. I think any of us who have ever been involved either as a player, as a coach, a parent, a trainer, a supporter of the, of the team, I think we all recognize just how hard it is to even make the nationals, uh, never mind win it. Summarizing the word, great pride. Seeing coach and all of the coaching staff get that first championship, the first of many, um, was amazing. Lisa is somebody that I've known for several years now and we all know the remarkable work she's done for this program and for of course basketball in Canada. Being with a team for over a decade, 16, 17 years, that's a long time to build a program and from where she took it over to the success they've had. She's a very composed coach and so I'm sure she's not always composed internally inside. <laughs> But she presents that way. You, you don't see much from her. She'll sit, she'll stand, she'll walk a little bit. Sometimes she will talk to an official. I'm sure they're not talking about the weather, but she's still composed. I love watching her on, on the floor, even though she you know paces back and forth, etc. She actually is quite a cool cucumber. She's just so well liked and so well respected by, by the entire community, um, by all of Canada. And so I think there was a lot of people out there that were very, very satisfied to see her finally finally get that first national championship. In addition to being an outstanding coach, she's an amazing person and the work she has done to turn this program around from what it was when she arrived to what it is now is it's nothing short of phenomenal. Something I've always admired and enjoyed watching with Lisa is just how she can develop players. Um, if you go around the gym at lunchtime or throughout the day, you can always see that she's got some very structured workouts for her players. But I'm always amazed at 
where some of her recruits come in and where they end up. She became, you know, a true Saskawanian right away. And, you know, she bled green and white, you know, right almost from the get-go. Enjoy the last 14 seconds. Then at the end, it, it was like her emotions got away with her. And the emotion she showed when I saw it, it was like, this, there's relief, there's happiness, there's a real appreciation for the moment itself, and just really happy that finally it's happened. I thought it was a glorious moment. Yeah, I'm sure for Lisa that first championship was sweet, but those, those emotions, those were about the athletes, because I know for her, that's the only reason we're here, it's for those student athletes. And so to see that joy and that emotion come out for them was wonderful. Not every coach can develop talent uh, the way Lisa can. And that's a big reason for their sustained success, I think. I can't think of another person and another team and another sport that deserve this more than Lisa and that team. It was fun to practice with the girls team and kind of see how Lisa does that with how she structures her practices, how she runs the standards she keeps for her team. Um, to sustain that championship culture. The qualities of this team, and I said this to Lisa herself, one thing they did was they always found a way to win. Well, you know what, in the word grit, they had grit. You could tell there was no quit in them. We knew this team was really good coming into the season. I think the main thing that set them apart from other teams at Nationals was their composure and their ability to handle um, handle the pressure and the stress that comes with being at a national championship. And I remember one game last in the winter, you know, where they had a tremendous win streak going and they played awful against Alberta and even then came up at the end and pushed it into overtime and almost won that game. All of a sudden a little bit of mild panic sets in and really that's when the team all of a sudden I think became its best when they, they had to overcome that little bit of adversity. Good, good successful teams will find a way to win even when they don't play very well and this team seemed to have that last year. That they came and showed up to play every game. They never gave in. This team came together in such unbelievable fashion. You know, so much, so much talent from from not just those fifth year stars. They genuinely liked each other. They liked spending time with each other, and they had that that mix of personalities that you kind of need. Like they were a very tight knit family a family that supported each other, a family that loved each other. And everything they did was towards that ultimate goal of bringing home a first national title. One for the school, but also for themselves. I've worked with the girls team the last three or four years. So I've got to see them grow as a group and you could kind of tell that their confidence was finally there where they believed that they were the best team in the country. And the way these diverse people all came together, it was, uh, it was incredible to watch. And having that belief is huge for a championship team. Um, they were able to stay healthy. They had a great mix of talent and options to score at different positions. So when you see that kind of unique chemistry, you know something unique is going to happen. What I would say to last year's team is thank you. Uh, it was such a, a great ride to be a part of. I was lucky enough to be there to call several of the games, including the, the championship game in Canada West over Regina. Uh, some great memories that I will take with me forever in my broadcasting career. Everybody that was on the team, coaching staff, trainers, parents, everyone that supported the team, you're all heroes to me because it's it's just such a feat that you guys were able to, to win last year. I've watched the team for years, and uh, I've, uh, it's just a, such a successful program. And the, the ultimate is always to win a national championship. And so to them, I say congratulations. I say well done to all those who came before that helped to, to reach that point. We had a great group of role models uh, from last year's team and past year's teams. And, you know, many have graduated and they're they're wonderful ambassadors for the program, but they're also people to look up to and to talk to and to tap into. And then you have the type of culture and sense of community um, that wants nothing but success personally and professionally for our young women. Um, that to me says it all, and that to me is the ultimate sort of a pinnacle of success. 
And with the girls team, you could really see how much they cared for each other and wanted to succeed for the one next to them. And for the groups moving forward, I would just say, um, try and embrace that. Try and embrace the journey. Try and embrace the bonds you have with each other. And it's okay to want individual success, but try and really focus on wanting success for your teammates as well. And I think that's what really breeds um, special teams and championship level teams. Excellence comes around and is, is easier to sustain than you might think when you've got excellence in coaching, when you've got a program built in excellence, and you've got those role models and mentors. Take advantage of it. So it was just a very proud moment and all I, I there's, doesn't quite do it, but congratulations. If you want to be a champion, you hang around with champions. My house. <laughs> I love this thing.